Well, I think it's great. I mean, to be honest, I kind of look at the opportunity of being, being hired by the Leafs and going through that process of the interview process and getting selected and, and being a part of this organization. And I think there's so many great hockey minds and a, a, no different than a player and an opportunity to develop as a coach was probably the, was the biggest factor. And then obviously, you know, the fact that it worked out at home, uh, got to start my coaching career back there. I think uh, you know, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of excitement in the, in the city right now. And I think uh, once I get back there, uh, get going and an opportunity for me to get around family again, which is nice. Hockey fans out there are terrific, and you can ask uh, one, two, three, and they'll all have a different choice. Uh, usually Toronto, maybe Boston, maybe Montreal. What, what was your team growing up in suburban St. John's? I was a hardcore Montreal fan, a hardcore Canadiens fan. Actually, my dad would take me to a couple of games a year in Montreal, so actually at the Forum and then at the Bell Centre. Uh, I was a big Eric Lindros fan, so he'd always take me to see Philadelphia. So we were a household that was uh, live and die Canadians, and uh, that's why when I put the, the lease on for the first time, it was, uh, it was a little strange, but I'm excited. How important is your perspective in terms of teaching these guys and letting them know and believe that the chance to get there might be theirs if they work hard enough for it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a, you know, a roadmap or that everyone takes the same way. There's a perfect path to the NHL. I think there's a lot of different ways to get there. You know, I was an actual draft pick. There's a lot of players that weren't drafted that came to the East Coast Hockey League as well. And I think it's, the league has certainly gotten better. I think it's, uh, the league's been faster and a more skillful league. Uh, I think, I think for, for me, to be able to sell the opportunity, I think, you know, this is not something where you're coming to get lost. This is, this is a great opportunity. And I think that's the, the best thing about this with Toronto is they're, they're, they, they, they want to use it. It's, it's, it's big for them, the fact that they're affiliated with St. John's. And, uh, you know, that, like I, I said off the top, that was a big factor for me being able to have those resources and use it to develop those players because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. We would only see Patrick Marlowe twice a year and we had a full season of him. We know about him from your perspective, quality, character, person. Tell us about Patrick Marlowe. Yeah, Patrick is an uh, uh, unbelievable guy. I mean, I think he, you know, the fact that he, he could step right in here last year and, and you know, he come from San Jose so long, he's come to the biggest hockey market in the world. And, he doesn't skip a beat. Uh, he's just a real good person. I mean, when, when you just kind of do your thing every day, it doesn't matter where you play, it doesn't matter who you play for, it doesn't matter who it is. You just he's able to adjust because of uh, he's such a professional. And you know, I, I just from the outside looking in, it seems like the, the kids and the younger guys and really took to him. He really did a good job with those young guys. And uh, I'm real happy for Patty. And, I think I really hope he has an opportunity. Him or Joe Thornton, I just hope one of them gets an opportunity one day to win a cup. Snippets of coaching learned from guys who've coached you, whether it be Ron Wilson, John Tortorella, Pete DeBoer, Lou Lamarillo. Will you take bits and pieces of each of those men into your new job in, in St. John's? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I know I've played with a bunch of players who've had you know, tough relationships with all their coaches and they didn't get along. That was never the case for me. I've always had a ton of respect for my coaches. Still to this day, maintain a lot of great relationships with them. I'll, I'll call, you know, uh, Tom McClellan or Pete DeBoer or Jay Woodcroft on a regular basis uh, and ask questions. I talk to John Hines, obviously, on a regular basis now. And uh, you just try to pull a little bit. Uh, you know, every, every single coach that you talk to is going to tell you to be yourself. And, uh, so you try to take a little bit that you learn and, and there's certain things that I like from each coach and they're, and they're different coaches and that's what I liked about them, that their way works for them. Uh, so I, I'll try to do my thing, but uh, you know, you try to pick from everyone, but very, I've had very good coaches, a lot of different coaches, but very good.